Hi everyone, Jean here. Um, welcome back to my craft room. Um, I've just popped on because last time I did a video I said about making an um, album. Um, well I've been preparing for the last few days uh, but there'll be too much to do it all in one video. But I've already started it and what I've done is um, I've painted the, which is kitchen roll this one, painted the kitchen roll with acrylic paint. Um, let that dry and then put some backing paper. It's from a pad called, oh can't remember, I've put it back. <laughs> but anyway, it's a pad that all coordinates. Um, so I've put the backing paper on there and some um, uh, paper lace and a little silk leaf and then die cut a, um, a stitched oval and put part of a, a flower applique there and uh, the little, um, what do you call them, miniature picture things, can't remember what they call them, <laughs> it'll come to me later, and some pearls, and that's the first one. Now, I haven't done, I've started the tag for that, um, in the same coordinate paper, um, but I haven't decorated it yet, um, so I've got that to do. And uh, it'll slip in there better when I've uh, got the hole sponged and what have you. And that's the second page. Uh, do you remember when I came on and I showed you those stamps? Um, I'd got free in a magazine. Uh, well, this is one of the row stamps. And I've coloured it in. And uh, I think it's come out lovely, that. Really, really nice stamps. And coloured the leaves. And I've coloured these in pro markers. Do you know, I still love pro markers. Um, and then on there I've put um, just a little bit of Velcro and inside it says just a note where you can write. Uh, now, the ink from the pens has bled through, but I quite like that. I think I'm going to leave that. It just gives a shadow effect of a rose uh, and the leaves. And then um, I distressed... Um, there was, I have a die cut, what cuts out, um, well that's it there, um, borders, and I distressed it with, um, Tim Holtz distressing in forest moss, just to give that hint there, and I think that's come out quite nice, I haven't done anything on the back there, um, and now I'm doing five of these pockets, these, uh, pages, um, and the next one I think I'm going to put in is uh, this one. It says, let your dreams take flight. And it's uh, a stitched oval again and, and backing paper again from the same same collection, back and front. Uh, I distressed all these as well with uh, distressing ink in tea dye. And then this was... Um, um, Oh, what do you call it? An embossing board. Um, do you remember the Glitter Girls? A lot of you will not uh, uh, not know them, a lot of the uh, newbies. But Glitter Girls did some amazing embossing boards. And, um, and really, really dimensional. Well, I embossed that and then I cut it out and just distressed it with some distressing ink. So I'm going to put that on there and then I made these little tiny flowers uh, from a punch that I have and just shape them and this is out of the paper as well this backing paper different uh, different pages and just put the little um, pearls in the center so I'm going to put that on um, and I forgot to put my glue gun on so we'll have to put this on with the uh, Colal Tacky glue it's, it's Quite good actually is this tacky glue. We'll put this on first. It should hold quite well actually. So just put that as far up there as we can get it. Just leave it a few minutes. And then this one here I'm going to put round the bottom. So I'll put a bit on here. I'll just just so that it captures like that. It doesn't matter if it hangs over a tiny bit. 
at the bottom and that should all and then I'm going to put this in the in the centre here just a little jeans little <laughs> a little <coughs> excuse me um, some little flowers like this don't think you want too much um, on these I mean you can if you want you can really go to town but it makes them really thick and bulky if you put too much on but I think just like that and I think that turns out very pretty because don't forget we can also embellish these um, uh, well not too much but we can stamp on them and do different things like I've got tags here to put on for inside and I think it's going to be really nice when it's finished so I'm going to leave it there I've prepared loads of things I've got little flowers made and and I'm going to come back again and we'll carry on making the other two and then we'll do the backings because I haven't done any backings yet um, surprising how much um, materials you need to do these albums and I've also um, I've got uh, the hinges, the round ring hinges that go through when you do your holes. I make the holes with the, this crop, crocodile and um, it'll go through any thickness, this leather, anything. It's absolutely excellent. And if anybody's bad with the wrists or the hands, it is so easy just to do that and it punches and sets eyelets. Now I'll be waiting for my eyelets coming to do this, to go through the holes. Um, and they were supposed to be here on Friday, but they haven't turned up. And I suppose with it being Christmas post, <coughs> excuse me, um, I probably won't see those while the new year. So I'm going to leave it there for now. And as I say, hopefully then I'll be back and we'll carry on doing the album. And I just want to take this time just to wish you all peace and love and joy. And at this time when there's so much stress, so much stress and present buying and have we got enough food and, you know, God never wanted it to be like that. He, well, even he was never in Christmas. He, Jesus Christ weren't born at Christmas. He, were, he wasn't born on the 25th of December. He was born later on in the year. Um... But he never intended it to be stressful. God's great gift to all of us. When you're buying all your gifts, think of the greatest gift of all. And that was God sending his only beloved son for each and every one of us. That through him we might be saved. And you might say, saved from what? Saved from sinfulness. Because all of sin, God says, and fall short of the glory of God. And there has to be a day when we stand before God and give account for all that we've done. But Jesus Christ came to seek and to save those who are lost. And if we believe in him and believe that he died for us, paid the price for our sin, that we might not suffer the penalties when we stand before God, but that we might have eternal life in Jesus Christ. So at this time, think on God. Think on the greatest gift that ever was given. And that's our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And I'm going to leave it there and say God bless to you all. And I will see you later. Bye.